Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the sort method on arrays in JavaScript. So the sort method allows you to sort an array and it's actually going to return you a new array and not modify the existing array. Okay, so let's see how this thing works. In here I'm going to define a new constant called a which will be equal to an array of strings. Okay, so let's just put some strings inside this array. Let's say we'll put in um, Dom and then Apple and something like, I don't know, bottle. Okay. Now, with these strings, obviously here they're not in alphabetical order. So we're going to use the sort method to sort these strings in alphabetical order. So down here, let's define a new constant and call this one sorted. This will be equal to simply just a dot sort. Okay, so now the sorted constant will be the same array as up here, but it's going to be sorted in alphabetical order. So now, if I was to console.log the sorted um, array and then save this one, run the script, and we get apple, bottle, and dog. So it gets sorted by alphabetical order automatically. Now that is the basic usage of the sort method, but this method actually takes in a compare function and this allows you to define your own logic to determine the order of the elements. So let's get rid of all this stuff right here and instead we're going to sort an array of objects. Okay. So up here, let's define a new constant called people equal to an array of objects. Let's make some people. Let's say for the first person, name will be uh, Dom. And Dom will be 55 years old. Okay. Let's just define some more real quick. Name can be Sophie with an age of 96. And one more, let's just say the name is Mark with an age of 27. Okay, so now uh, we'll use the sort method to sort these people by their actual age. So I'll just collapse this constant real quick. Okay, now let's define a new constant called sorted by age. Okay, equal to people.sort once again this time going to pass in a compare function. So we'll say, okay, function. This function takes two arguments and typically it's going to be A and then B. Okay. So now this A and B will be um, two of these actual people objects. That's just the way that the actual sorting algorithm works. So you get two objects to actually work with. Now, um, what happens is, when this function returns a negative value, that means that A is going to, to be before B in the finalized sorted array. Okay, If you get a positive number outside of this um, uh, callback function, then it means that B will be above A in the sorted form. So it depends on the return value of this compare function. Negative means that A is first, Positive means that B is first, and zero means that they're both the same. So they're just, you know, next to each other. So let's do this. We're going to say this. We're going to say return A dot H minus B dot H. Okay. So now that right there is going to sort these people by their age. Okay. So. If I was to console.log sorted by age, we should see the intended result. Let's run this script, and what do we get? We get Mark, Dom, and Sophie, 27, 55, and 96. So back inside here, let's just explain this again real quick. Let's see the two objects, Dom and Sophie. Dom is going to be A, Sophie is going to be B. So if dom.h, so if 55 um, minus 96, if that gives a negative value, which it does, then dom is going to be above Sophie in the sorted array. 
okay? To sort this um, in descending order, you say b minus a dot h. Now, uh, now it should be 96, 55, and 27. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? And you can do the same thing with dates, with strings, anything that you want. This is your own custom sorting function right there. Okay? And that is how you can use the sort method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.